Hello there friends, you are on the CSGO news channel as always, and today we will talk about the latest interesting news. A big interview with Bumich, will there be replacements in Australis? Called Zera assembled a new dream team. That being said, we have something to talk about today. Let's get started! And we will start today with news about a new Brazilian dream team gathered together by Caldera. As you remember, Zero Zero Nation kicked all the other players and left Caldera in charge. He apparently didn't even think for a long time and called his old friend Taco from Godsent to join him. Unlike Imperial, there are only two veterans here. These are Caldera and Taco. The rest are just young talents under 18. So, maybe something will come out of it eventually. Replacements are also to be held in Astralis apparently. This information came straight from Samdai Young on his stream. I think Valde will come to Astralis. Astralis. Obviously, Zipnix will be out, possibly Glaive too, but it isn't clear who will be in charge of the team. Maybe blame F, but he wouldn't want to. Previously, there were rumors that Astralis were waiting for Valde's contract with OG to be over in order to take it for free. Also, it's unclear what's going on with Device there. Thorin and Richard Lewis said that the prodigal son would soon return to his beloved club. We'll wait and see. Well, now let's talk about Bumich. His wife confirmed in her Telegram channel that in fact all the leaks before turned out to be true. Although she had previously denied all of this. She said that she did take part in adult films, she did it in a mask and generally loves all that stuff. She shared that she even sold her videos on different sites. I think hardly anyone doubted, but now everything is at least official. According to her, all these leaks were arranged by her ex-boyfriend who participated in all these videos. It would probably be possible to end here, but then a major blogger Ray's posted a teaser of an interview with Bumich, which has already been released on his channel. Naturally, his ex-wife could not miss such an opportunity to make a few statements. Before the interview was released, she warned that if she did not like the light in which her ex-husband was exposing her, then she would simply destroy him with new leaks. And in general, thanks to her huge amount of help, Kirill earned more than 100 million rubles. She only asked him for a safety cushion in the form of 5 million rubles after the divorce. On this note, we will move on to the interview where Bumich talks about everything in detail. So sit back and enjoy some of his quotes. I think it's obvious to many that I met her when I decided to use some of her services at home. It was after I EM Katowice. I have used similar services before. I met her and she seemed to me a very open person. Some kind of attachment immediately appeared. I wanted to continue our communication. We broke up many times, constantly. Before the proposal, we split up again and I left the apartment because the boot camp before the major was ahead. I made a promise to her in Mexico. We'll win a major. I'll propose to you from the stage. That was a man's word that I kept. Somewhere closer to the finale, she herself began to remind me of the promises. You're going to propose, aren't you? We had no joint property in her marriage. We didn't buy anything. It's all fake and it's all people's guesses. I looked in my bank application how much I personally sent to her card. Let's just say that 28 million rubles or more than $500,000 were spent on the maintenance of her and her family. It hurts to hear that. Honestly, I don't know where all the money went. All I know is that she likes to have different beauty procedures like depilation, epilation, and having appointments with a cosmetologist. About all the leaks, of course I knew, but how could I not support my significant other at such a moment? We denied everything, there was simply no other way. About those scandalous photos where she posed with tanks in the background? Those were my most difficult days. We were sitting at home on the balcony, she showed me these photos. I said, please don't try to post them. You know why. It can affect me and my career. A week passes, she posts a photo. No explanations, just tears and sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. I decided to forgive her, hoping it would be the last time. The last straw was the video where she sat on my face. I was kicked out of the team because of her and she was having fun as if nothing happened. The decision to get a divorce was mine. Once, I jokingly said, if I had a choice, the team or you, I would choose you. And this evil joke, came back after a while. It was like a stab of a knife. I've lost what I've been doing all my life. I just lost my career because of her. Lost the best team in the world. I found out about my dismission from Navi unexpectedly. I woke up at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The director called and said that I was no longer part of the team. I accepted it without emotion. Yes, okay, good. I went to Lika and told her about it. I didn't say that it was because of her posts, although everything was so obvious. But she didn't understand that. What could I do? I said all the posts should be approved by me first, but they were posted anyway. I didn't know this would happen. I couldn't even think about this. Now I just want to return to tier 1 stage. I'm even ready to assemble my own new team for this. I'm hungry for victories and I'll do everything. Well friends, let's wish Bumich good luck in his new life. However, we still have to deal with the old one. It turns out that his ex 
wife wrote a domestic violence statement to the police against him. And apparently, the story does not end there yet. After the interview, she wrote that all this is not true and that he is a vile liar. And in general, she has already been invited to an interview where she will shed light on the truth about this whole complicated story. Well, it looks like the scandal is gaining a new turn. Friends, what do you think about all of this? Write in the comments below. I'm sure there will be even more content about this in the near future. So, subscribe to the channel so you will not have a chance to miss it. And as for me, I don't say goodbye for a long time. See you soon!